There is record-setting heat here in Southwest Florida. Nobody back home wants to hear that after another winter storm. Here at JetBlue Park in Fenway South, we are ready for the first baseball game since October 5th of last year. Today's matchup between the Northeastern Huskies and the Boston Red Sox is brought to you by John Deere. Here's the one-two from Mosqueda. Hit to right field, so the shortstop from Wellesley is aboard with a leadoff single for the Huskies. Well, that was that breaking ball down and spin. Man on, nobody out. Fly ball from Sirota. Jaron Duran, the center fielder, under it, and he'll make the catch for the first out of the game. Well, TC, you mentioned this game, and it is special for these guys. It's really a bad base, a second base. Fly ball to left field. Yoshida under it makes his first play of the game, and there's two down here in the first. It's the breaking ball. Got him out front. Runner goes. Throw to first. Got him in the rundown, and they will throw out Smith to end the inning. So in the end, Mosqueda will only face three batters. Gave up the single, but got out of it. No score. 33 games. Lines this one to left field towards the corner. And that'll drop in there for what he hopes to be a double. And sure enough, he slides in safely. A leadoff double for Jared Durant. Well, Jared. Here's the 3 2 to Devers. Just out of the reach of the first baseman, Thornbond. And that'll be a base hit to right field. And Duran will come around to score. And two batters in. The Red Sox have a pair of hits and a 1 0 lead. Yeah, this is nice here from Devers to get that fastball up and in, clears it with the hands, hits this ball. Thornbarn just slow to react, kind of hooking towards that right field line. You got to come back and get reacclimated to it. The 3 2 from Quinlevin outside bounces back quickly, so Devers has to stay at third, but that'll be a walk. We got men on the corners after Hernandez draws the walk. Batting cleanup today, but uh, projected right now to be the leadoff hitter for the team. He drives this one to left field. Spun around a bit, but getting back after it is Feinberg. Coming in to score is Devers. A sack fly for Yoshida and a 2 nothing lead for the Red Sox. You hear a lot of about half four in, so there's some swing and miss there. Bases loaded, one down. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Ball four outside, and that'll force in a run. I beg your pardon, that'll load the bases. 3-0 from Quinlevin and a four pitch walk with the bases loaded. That'll bring in a run and make it three nothing Red Sox. And that'll bring. Valdez rips that one towards the gap in right field. It'll get to the gap and the track one run in a second run coming in as well a two run double for Emmanuel Valdez and the Red Sox taking a five nothing lead here in the first the Red Sox really love Valdez's bat one of the reasons why they got him in that Christian Vasquez trade you see this fastball kind of split the plate 1 0 takes a good swing that's what you want you want to do damage within the zone which is something these Red Sox got here's the 2 2 from Harrington Pop up, shallow center field, center fielder Sorota in, he makes the catch, runners hole for the second out of the inning. Accelerated at a rate far more quickly than we usually see. Up the middle and Harrington gets the glove on and flips it to first to retire Duran and get out of the jam. But the Red Sox score five off Northeastern, five nothing after one here at JetBlue. Talk to the scouts like so many other pitchers as this one is uh, driven to left field. Yoshida working to his left gets under it. And there's one down in the second inning. That's what you want. One pitch from Feldman and that's base hit to left field. Catcher Ed Jarvis. And with one down the Huskies have a man aboard. This so week. Brown ball to short. Hernandez, the quick flip. Valdez to Casas, and the double play will end the inning. So Feldman works around the one base hit. The Red Sox there. I think he took a step forward last year. 
towering uh, pop fly. Shortstop Spencer Smith under it. Shields from the sun makes the catch. He's been raving about the work he's seen from him so far. And here, fists this one to second base. No problem for Beckstein. who makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Get him as the leadoff hitter for this team. As he drives this one to center field, Sirota back after it, and he'll get under it to make the catch. So one, two, three inning for Patrick Harrington. We head to the third with the Red Sox leading five nothing. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Broadway, the first strikeout of the game for a Red Sox pitcher. The 2-2 two -two from Broadway. Base hit to left field, and Mesa is aboard. Break a ball from Broadway. Showed a couple in the dirt. This one he gets. Man aboard. Number nine hitter, Luke Beckstein, the second baseman at the plate. First pitch line drive. Casas will make the play, tag the bag, and end the inning. So third straight inning. The Huskies get a base hit, but only the minimum number of three batters gets up to the plate. Second double play of the game for the Red Sox. We hit the bottom half of the third. Sox lead 5 nothing. A few days for some guys, but... Verdugo at the plate, second pitch. Skies that one to right field. Masek right, under it. Going to make the catch for the first out of the inning. As we mentioned, Corson, he wants to build these guys up to play in back to back. You know, shifting, you're going to see disengagement talk as Alfaro, first pitch, swinging, gets a base hit to right field. A one out base hit for Alfaro. But, but these players will get used to it too. At least that's the hope. Will number the third base side. Cross in there. Cross the diamond. He makes the play for the second out. Alfaro moves on to second base. Yeah, it's it's a change. Four game against Tampa Bay last year. You were breathless, the speed at which he was pitching. We'll pop fly to second base here. Bernstein under it, and he makes the catch. So Harrington's pitched well since coming into the first. We head to the fourth inning with a 5 nothing Sox lead. Beat, you know what I mean? For me, if that's kind of like where my mindset is, too, is I kind of want to get beat on the heater, and I want to go oppo, you know? So go. who else do we have? I'm trying to think. Um, there you go. There's a fly ball to center field. That goes uh, up and off the wall. So is Ciota, who fires one and drives in the first run of the game for Northeastern. And Smith will come around to score. And the Husky fans here come to life in the fourth inning. First run in for Northeastern. Doogie, we want Spencer Smith, the double from Sirota, followed by the stolen base. Ground ball to short. That'll get the run in as Hamilton. Throws out crossing for the first out of the inning and the second run of the game for the Huskies. I see David Hamilton. I apologize for that. Wyatt Olds did get up to double-A Portland last year. Got the one game in after spending most of the season in Greenville, high A, and he'll walk Feinberg to begin the inning. Oh. Here's the 3-2 pitch from Olds. Ball four called throw. The run will come in. And so all of a sudden, it's a 5 3 game here in the fifth inning. The runner trying to hold the bag. Really, in that kind of situation, really, the number one priority here all the time ball priority, right? Number one priority is to catch the baseball. You're not going to obviously throw him out or we'll get that out. He does, he tries. The throw was way up. Got to know that. He's got to take a pitch or two. <laughs> got to give the booth a little chance to yeah. talk here. This is. Uh, Mesa drops one into right field and drops in ahead of Abreu. A base hit. Now the tying run aboard with one out here in the fifth inning. Couple sleeping. 0-2, ground ball, third base. Up with it quickly and around the horn for the inning-ending double play. Koss started it, and the Red Sox get out of the jam. But the Huskies pick up another run, and after four and a half, it's 5-3. Red Sox went two for eight with a double. And rips one right back up the middle for a base hit to lead off the fifth here at JetBlue Park. That's what we want to see from Crook, you know, making contact, especially with two strikes. I mentioned that strike total. This is the one-two pitch to Abreu. Fly ball, left field, Feinberg. 
Under it, he'll make the play for the first out of the inning. One down as Crook will head back to first base. It starts wearing off at some point late in this game. Two and two pitch, swing and a miss there by Fitzgerald. So Maurice gets the strikeout. There's two down here in the fifth. One, two from Maurice. Call third strike, and he ends the inning on a pair of strikeouts. So we head now to the sixth inning. Red Sox leading Northeastern 5-3. Just tremendous. And then to bring our, our entire Northeastern University community together, we have a reception before the game. TC, you know, have 400 people. The president's there. All the le university leadership is there. So it's a wonderful feel-good event for Northeastern. And then, you know, um, you know, it'll be a great finish towards the end of the season here with all, uh, all the teams competing hard. Swing and a miss right there as uh, Rio Gomez uh, gets two quick outs. The kids to and families to uh, enjoy and experience. Yeah, in this baseball program, too, when you think of the Northeast, now you think about Northeast and the success that they've had. My boy Mike Glavitt, he's been there now nine years. I told him I was going to do my best to represent him and try to get him a raise. So can we work on that? So, you know, <laughs> videos between pitches. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Ground ball to short. Hamilton up with it to throw high. But Goodrum goes up and comes down in time to get the out. Nice job by Goodrum. He said Hamilton. Here's the 1-0 to Gregory Bazo. There's a line drive base hit to left field, cut off there by Crook, who comes up quickly. Nice play by Crook in left field to keep Bozzo to a single. Ground ball up the middle, over to play at the second baseman. Sogard throws it across in time. So two outs now here in the seventh. Bozzo advances to third. 2-2 the count now as Salucci rocks fire, swing and a miss, strike three. So he gets McGregor to end the inning of the Red Sox. Open up game play this spring with a 5-3 win over Northeastern University in the seven-inning exhibition game here at JetBlue Park in Fort Myers. We'll take Frank Blue and I come back to wrap it up after this. Sox beat the Huskies 5-3.